Are we looking good? Looking bad, as usual. All right, everyone. It's time to talk about WarioWare. And money. For the GBA. For Mega the GBA. Micro Games. Mega Micro Games. My name's Joe. My... My... WarioWare! His, his name is Ed. WarioWare! Let's give our real names. It's the first episode in a full LP of WarioWare. How yes. many How many other channels have done this? Don't answer that, because I'm sure it's been done many times, but we're going to do it better than they did. We're better at WarioWare than any other it's LP channel. It's misleading to call us a full LP, because, yeah, we're going to complete it, but it's going to take, like, 30 minutes. It's a short game. It's not 30 minutes. It's not 30 though. minutes. We're going to fail at some of it, but we are still really good at I it. I exaggerated for effect. You know what I mean? Alright, so what's our name? What is Cack! Alright, sounds good to me. And we're a girl. <laughs> of course. Hello, my name Cack! <laughs> Cack! So, we were talking about money. The storyline of this game is... We should we should talk about the money thing later oh, on. It's, it's funny, but, but it's, it's totally you know, this, thematic. This is, this is more funny. With, okay, we'll talk about this. So what is the story? He's a uh, Wario. Well, the game takes place in Wario Town. And here's Wario working out as usual. He only works out his biceps. I forgot about how weird the music is in this game. Also, this is not a story. It's very charming. The story is, think you can beat my games? I think that I think that Ed can. How is that a storyline? Well, I guess you'll, you'll, you can play the first part. You can play the tutorial. Oh yeah, you and should. And we'll see how many of these Mega Mini Micro games that we remember, because we've both played a lot of this game. They're called Mega the Mini Micro days. Games? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think you're right. You know, one of my fondest memories in gaming, actually, in all of gaming I've ever had, came from this game. When we were playing it on the couch and yes. laughing? Yeah, we were laughing yep. hysterically. That was... When the first time Ed ever played this game, I brought it over his house, and we were trading the Game Boy back and forth doing the tower levels over and over again, which I'm sure we'll play on the, on the channel after we beat the game. That's like the end game. Yeah, it's kind of the end game, and uh, we were just passing the Game Boy back and forth and uh, laughing maniacally and uh, attacking each other when we were killed. Because and... it, gets, it gets so fast, yeah. I just die? Oh, no, no, no. I didn't. You know. Oh! It's one of those games. This is... yeah. So what we're gonna do in this series, actually, is that we're gonna be analyzing each of the micro games individually. Oh. <laughs> and we're gonna be making sure that they're all balanced. And that everything uh, in the game is, yeah, li like I said, uh, well balanced and well designed. And we are going to redesign WarioWare in Construct 2. Wait. Using all of the original assets, and we're going to make the game better. <laughs> JK, why, we're not doing that. Why don't we? Why didn't we just make WarioWare like a cl not a clone, but a very similar game? I would. That would be that would be fun. Wouldn't that be what? In fact, that would be a great first game. In fact, that's make. what Derek Yu is doing. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> that was the boss level. That was the boss level. And yeah, the guy who made Spelunky is partnering up with what four other guys and doing exactly that. He's making a 50 game collection. Yeah. That's what it's we should have done. Mega 50 or something like U that? UFO 50. UFO 50, that's what it was. I posted it in the Discord. Speaking of which, if you want to join our Discord, check out the link in the description below. Yeah, join it. It's real fun. I'm on there a lot. Yeah, there's more there. There's uh, more people on there than there were before. Yeah, we get a pretty healthy amount of people coming in and out, in and out, in and out. And I'm, yeah, I'm usually I, I check it out. Yeah! A good, good group story. on there. Yeah, a lot of really nice people. We got a channel for game dev if you want to talk strictly game dev. And there's a channel for... Do we have a memes channel? Mm-hmm. That's like the general channel is the memes channel. But we're pretty nice. I'm pretty nice. At least I know that. I'm very humble, too. This game's a little strange, I would say. A little! I think it would give you good practice if you made a bunch of mini micro games. Yeah. I mean, that really teaches you everything. You get to touch in every genre. Yeah. Sure. And yeah. this game was made with a D-pad and an A button. Which is exactly inspiring. What and that is exactly what our game is, but our game is much more complex than any of these micro games. But it can be played with a D-pad and an A button. So what do we got to do? Beat Jimmy up here? Uh, All right. I'll, I'll take over. Oh yeah, we're saving. Oh yeah, it's got to save. It takes forever to save on this for some reason. I don't know why. It's a GBA. We're playing this on a GBA. I just realized that the window is really small here. Oh yeah, you want to blow it up a little bit? Uh, About... Is it going to fuck up our recording? Probably. Oh yes! It sure did. It sure Just did. Just drag it over to the... That's fine. I how don't do you, care. How do you do I the aspect care. ratio thing? You don't, right? No, it doesn't matter. Just leave it. Just leave it. All right. I'll bring it over here, though. Uh, All right, Jimmy. Yeah, I do want to play your games. Yeah. Is it still the correct... It is the correct aspect ratio now, isn't it? I barely moved it, I think. Was this, like, resized in a, in a strange way? It looks, like, anti-aliased around his... Uh, 
around his body in some of these parts here. Does it? I don't Not know, here, though. I don't really know what anti-aliasing means. So, like, a sort of, it's jaggies, right? Yeah, it looks a little jaggy. That's but a better way to say it. I don't even think anti-aliased was the correct word to use there. I think so, I uh, so, because anti-aliasing is such a complex topic. Like, there are 17 different kinds of anti-aliasing. All right, let's... There you go. All right, I, I remembered how to do the ski jumping one. So, is this one of the best games of all time? I think the answer is yes. So this is basically the Mortal Kombat game, but in Mortal Kombat it was impossible and not fun. And in this they managed to beat the Mortal Kombat minigame by a mile. You know, I just realized, and it's only one two hundredth of this game. <laughs> the the um the timer at the bottom, is that actually counting seconds? I don't know if it is. Three, two, yeah, I think I it's think shorter. It oh, it's shorter. Yeah, it's counting, it's counting some kind of units, but as yeah. the game goes... It, the units become shorter and shorter. I think it's like five of those notches, five or six of those bomb notches. So you get yeah, they're not a second. They might be a second. Seconds. They might be a second at the very beginning. You know, I think it's in the first level of yeah. a of a section. It might be a full second, but then it quickly devolves. I think it's three seconds total. Maybe I think. It, maybe it halves every uh, eight or something. I don't know. So the entire game. Well, first of all, the game is broken into characters. There's different characters. Now we're Whoa. playing this. Oh yeah, that giant. Well, it's a golf ball. Looks like a golf ball, but it's not. What if it controlled Goofy Foot, like in Skate or Die? <laughs> <laughs> you had to press the opposite uh, direction that you wanted to go. Skate or Die, another classic. Yeah. Have we ever played that on the channel? Oh, no. I remembered. This is Goofy Foot, right? That one, you control the trampoline, not the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it backwards. looks like you control the guy. You yeah. probably thought I was controlling the guy at home if you've never played WarioWare, or maybe you forgot. That's but one of the few that always gets me. The truth is, you move the trampoline to catch the guy. So, WarioWare does throw you for a loop like that. And usually you're not going to beat the, the levels on your first try. Oh yeah, punch out. And later on, there's an entire... Uh, so as we were saying, each character is its own set of minigames. And one of those characters is all NES like remakes. Yeah, 9-Volt. 9-Volt, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All like micro games done in the style of Zelda or... We did a GBA games episode where 9-Volt was the title card. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Did but we it was, even... uh, we just played WarioWare for a few minutes on that episode. How far did we get in that episode? I don't know. I think remember. we got to 9-Volt. Or maybe not. I don't know. I thought he Let was us pretty know far. Remember. Yeah, 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 because we certainly have no way of looking it up. We certainly don't. You know what I always liked about this game? It's a series of vignettes. Like, these stories are not really related. They're just different characters doing their own thing. And they're all interesting, like this dude. He's just, it's, it's all really strange. I think it's fascinating because it's strange, you know? Like Twin Peaks. His mustache has made of music notes. I never noticed that. I just noticed. Holy crap. All right, do you want to do who's next? Uh, oh, we get we get our choice. Oh yeah, you can pick Mona, oh, Nine wait, Volt, or the dog. Yeah. So I think you get to choose from any of them. So we probably just went straight to Nine Volt last yeah. time. Yeah, probably. You want to do this I wanna one? I want to do, yeah, I want to do Mona. All right. Because I think she's cuter than a dog. I forget what her mini games are though. I think in Twisted she's riding a bicycle, and the whole thing is you're riding a bicycle and you have to. Yeah, they brought all these characters back in the other WarioWare games. Yeah, they created some very endearing characters for the WarioWare series. And they don't talk. They don't have any dialogue. They don't do anything. But they're still interesting and endearing characters. And this game was very impressive when it came out. I bought this the day it came out, actually. Yeah, how did you hear about this? Well, I guess. I don't know. I guess I just know, uh, keep track of it. I guess I just kept track of video games. I don't know. Remember back in the day when you couldn't look things up on the internet, really? Like, I probably... This was out when the internet was... You could keep up with game news, though, on the internet during I, the GBA guess, days. like, game facts, right? Yeah. Like, I don't... What was it back then? GameSpot, maybe? Yeah, GameSpot, IGN. I mean, IGN, is, uh, I stopped trusting them in, like, 2004. But this was probably back far enough that you would be getting a copy, a copy of Game Informer magazine every month. Because yeah, for a long time, I could, did. You could look at it, yeah, it might be a magazine at that point. It's kind of a transition period, I guess, late 90s. I really enjoyed that, although not nearly as much as I enjoy the internet. Like, I would get, you know, copy Game Informer every month and I'd go in my room and read it for an hour straight. And There's something about okay. that, having just limited information. You're limited to yeah. what the... Yeah. What the newsman... What the game reviewer decides is, is to, yeah decides is pertinent yeah. for you to know about, so that's good and bad, mostly bad. <laughs> but there's something to be said for having less options. There's like a naivete. Is that how you pronounce that word? Yeah. There's like a naivety 
to not having information. Like a sort of, like a wistful, life was simpler. But that's, nobody wants that though. Even if he, oh, my fan is still on over there. Shit. I was wondering what that noise was. Should I turn it off? Um, good luck. If you turn it left, it goes on high. If you turn it right, it goes on low. It's real confusing. And the off button is past the high button. I got it. You got it? You did. I have the same one. It's one of those, oh, you do. <laughs> it's one of those yeah. window fans where it goes off, high, medium, low for no reason. It's still on. <laughs> I didn't get it. Oh. I, I, I might have left both of the fans on. It's, it's one of those dual fans. Those dual core fans. Anyway, life was simpler back then, but not necessarily better. Like, I remember... Oh, my... Oh, oh no! You have to wait till he flips upside down so you can grab him by the feet. You can't grab him by the head. How's you see how big his head was? Yeah. Yeah. Oof. You fool. I remember when uh, Final... Game Informer had a, an issue where Final Fantasy X was on the front cover. It was uh, during the winter season. I guess, like, December of whatever year that was. 2002, maybe? I think I read that issue at least six times back to back. Yeah, because you were bored. You just had less stuff to do. Yeah, you, fact, you could you play the yeah. same game like 20 times. Yeah. The old Nintendo games were perfect for oh, that because no. there, there were so many difficult games. In fact, you know where we were. 20 tries to beat it. Oh! In fact, when we were kids, Joe and I used to go into the city every year with our families around Christmas time. And there was one year where Joe didn't come. That was the year that I read that copy six, six times back to back. I didn't come? Yeah, I don't know, you are probably busy with something. Oh, maybe but, I had some... I don't even remember that. But it was just one year I, I ended up going to my... Si oh, wait. Oh, that one's hard. That one's hard because if you push down, you just continue to move downward. Yeah. Yeah, Joe wasn't there, and usually we, we fool around for the entire... It was a day trip. Every year we did a day trip to Philadelphia, which is like half an hour away, so it's not really a big deal. Uh... Oh yeah, this one's hard because if you hit the side of the nail, like that... Yeah, you have to correct it. Or you don't. Maybe you don't. Do you? I wonder. Oh, I guess you don't. Hey, hey. That's like a warning, I guess. The artwork in this game is so... Uh... Surreal? Well, that, that maybe that too. But the artwork in this, it's... Um... I can't... I started the sentence without knowing the word that I wanted to finish it with. <laughs> Describe it. Avant-garde. Postmodern. Varied. We did it! Varied isn't the right word though either. It doesn't match. It doesn't match with each other. Like every every game has a different art style. Sort of, right? Every, yeah. Every micro yeah. game? Yeah, the art styles don't match up. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. Although that's part of the charm. Because the game doesn't really have a visual style except for here during the cutscenes. Yeah, this is a separate visual style, but then it shows the cutscenes when you see the close-ups of the characters and you saw that monkey drawn in like three different ways earlier <laughs> in Mona's cutscene. Like, this is kind of the style that I think of when I think of WarioWare, like the thick, yeah. the thick lines and the, uh, the flat colors. Get out of here, cake! You did it! Alright, should I do the next one? Yeah. Cool. Oh, we gotta save, though. Alright. We do gotta save. Cheery. Oh, we got two player. Oh! This game is two player with one controller. Should we try it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, how do I get over to I it? I forgot about those mini games. Oh, you gotta. You have to get over to it from here. You can't. You That's can weird. only get. All right, whatever. There's a bunch more two player games too, right? Okay. A um, is start. I actually don't remember. Oh, it's the triggers, right? It looks no, like. No, I think it's A and and D pad. Or is it the triggers? It is the triggers. It's the triggers. Oh, this game. Wait, which one am I? I'm the red one. Right. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, you know what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> One of the triggers, I think, is speeding up the, oh. the game. Okay, so our controls are not, not properly set up as it turns out. We're playing this on a GBA, though. We are. Wait, is it correct? Uh, no. It can't be. No, this isn't working. All right, All right sorry forget about that. it. Pretend it never happened. Scratch it from the record. But it does, yeah, it has uh, Strike mini it games that you can play with one controller. Pretty amazing. All right, we're going to attack this dog now <laughs> <laughs> that's great oh god oh so we were talking about money before the show started oh money yeah and let's preface this by saying that if we make a hundred thousand dollars off of our first game which is called infernal racket you can get it on Steam, that's a lot of money also known as Glassbreaker. if if we manage to surpass a hundred thousand dollars joe will graciously send out one thousand dollars in cash Two viewers of Game Soup. Ran oh, we'll have contests, I guess. You know, I'd match that too, because I don't. 
Okay, so $2,000 in cash will be going out to you in the mail, sent in envelopes, in various giveaways. I think that's a nice thing That is to a do. promise, and that is something that we will do. But this is kind of an, it's kind of an, uh, an off chance. It's a lot of money it is to make of off money. of one small indie game on Steam. I wonder how much the average game... Well, I don't even want... I'm afraid to look. I'm actually afraid to look. I don't want to look on Steam Spy to see how well games sell or how much money they make because... I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should do it. That's no, the I don't rational do it. thing. I don't do it all the time. I have done it. And uh, for a first-time game, that is a ridiculous amount of money. But, you know... I'd be so happy. You gotta start somewhere, too, though, you know? It'll make the next project I would, better. I would give away a thousand dollars. Sidestep. There you go. To our viewers. You know, I remember the main game here being super, super easy all the way through, I think. I don't think it even... I don't think it gets crazy until the, the tower at the end. Well, this is a great song. It's got lyrics. It's so lo-fi. Yeah, the, some, a lot of the, the songs in this game have lyrics. On this one, we already played this one. You know, I gotta say, WarioWare. Some of the mini games trans um, are in multiple levels in the game. They're like the generic, like yeah, the like the one where you have to stop him. That one appears yeah. in many of the levels. <laughs> oh yeah, this one. I love that. Mario, Mario and Bowser, or Koopa. Some of these are insane. Yeah, because you have three seconds to... It gets so exciting, it gets your blood pumping. I know, and they end so soon during the, the, quote, campaign mode. Three seconds to look at the game, figure out what to do, figure out what the controls do. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Just... I don't remember that one at all. I didn't remember that one. I just had to figure that one out. I do remember this one. Whoa, look, look at how that. happy that bot looked. You did really well. This is Spy Hunter. Funny, funny story, probably the song that gets stuck in my head the most. You know how every, everybody's got that song that sticks in their head all the time? We're a right. few songs. We all have probably, I don't know, a few dozen songs at least that get stuck in our head constantly. The one that gets stuck... That was easy. The one that gets stuck in my head the most is the Spy Hunter theme. Just the bass line from it. Just the bass line. Just the bass line. From the original Spy Hunter theme. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what what is my equivalent of the spy hunter theme, the thing that gets stuck in my head all the time. I wonder. It's almost certainly something by Uematsu from Final Fantasy or Chrono Trigger. Leave it in the comments. What's uh, what song gets stuck in your head all the damn time? Yeah, like it gets stuck in your head so often that you wish you could undo ever hearing it. Is that a mosquito? I don't think it's a mosquito. Oh no! What? One of my my son was captured. <laughs> it was abducted by a cup. Oh, that Why? one you have to put in. A, you have to input a button command. That time it was just up, up. Oh. Twenty four. I was gonna say, where's the boss? That's pretty high. But those. I think it gets more complicated. That combination theme. Oh, this is the uh, the shmup one. This would be really embarrassing if I can't do this one. <laughs> You just hold the button down? Yeah. Yeah, this, even... this reminds me of uh, Pokemon the Shmup when I made that. Yeah. This is about the same the same amount of uh, finesse to it. <laughs> That's the correct <laughs> word, isn't it? Actually, I now, this the... one I think we just have to knock the balls into the black oh. hole. Yes, that's correct. Is there a boss at the end of the stage? Or maybe this is This the... is the boss. Okay. No, maybe there's more. I guess there's more. I thought the boss was a giant face. Might not be this game, even, or even this level, but... Yeah, you're probably thinking of Gradius. Oh, that's ex that's right. I've, I've never played Gradius, but you're absolutely right. Yep. Uh, I guess when you get full power-ups, the power-ups become a screen nuke. That's pretty nice. So this is... The, there he is. It's a face, you're right. <laughs> This is, is this what my face? face? That's what my face looks like. <laughs> <laughs> this is not even a face. What is hap What is happening? I wonder. Yeah. So the fans have been uh, the fans. The viewers of GS have been clamoring to see what we look like. And uh, nobody. This, let's let's clarify. Nobody yeah, has I'm, ever I'm asked. Just kidding. Or, actually, yeah. no one's ever asked. But sorry. Continue. But uh, yeah, if you want to know this this boss right here is pretty much what Ed and I both look like. So yeah, I think you're right. Although just uh, you print, were, print yeah. screen, print this out. Print it out on photo paper. Make sure you uh, put it on the highest settings as well. Because if you don't, it's going to print with those lines in it. 
and it's gonna look bad. It won't look you like put, us. You want to frame that and hang it on your wall. So make sure you put it on printer paper or uh, photo paper in the highest settings. All right. Although, should I reveal this? I don't care. Although, if you own a copy of Infernal Racket and you play it enough, maybe you'll find something cool. Maybe you will. You probably won't, though. You probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> if, you, uh, if, you, if you do an eggplant run uh, of uh, Spelunky... Didn't it take forever to even learn about the eggplant run? Yeah. It took years before anyone I love discovered that. that was even a, a challenge. Well, we have something like that in Infernal Racket. We do. Something uh, I think that it's you would never to, think to do. It's easier than that, though. Probably a little easier than doing an I eggplant run. I think it's significantly easier. Can't you not get hit? I've never found an eggplant. No, me neither. In Spelunky. I've read about it. It's like, it's probably the hardest run... I've played in Spelunky probably hundreds of hours. It's just a random spawn, right? In, I yeah. guess, in the first world? Yeah, I think it always appears in the first... It might always appear in 1-1. One, one. And it does nothing, right? Just literally does nothing. Mm -hmm. But you you can conceivably carry it all the way to the end of the game for no reason. Yep. I remember that. That was a big deal when somebody finally did it. It wasn't that long ago. A couple years, maybe? And he spent his entire run to do it. Like, you have to have a good run to get to the end of that game. <laughs> so he gets to the end, and then he throws it at the last boss and discovers what happens. That's nuts. What's it do? It turns the last boss's head into an eggplant. <laughs> so it does something, at least. Yeah. Chicken race. Two-player. You know, it's weird that the, the controls oh, do you want to do 9-volt this time? Oh. You do 9-volt uh, sure. this time. Because just before we started this recording, I actually configured the controls. And, and yet... And yet didn't work. So this is the 8-bit character. All the NES era games. Let's do a game design analysis on every game in this game. 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 Okay, we'll do we'll do that for 9 volt. All right. We did promise it for every <clears throat> mini micro game in this game, but we'll just do it. We'll do it for 9 volt though at least. Look, look at that. You got your SNES, your Game Boy, your Virtu Virtual Boy Super Scope. Where's the Wii? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait, was GameCube out at this point? I was just gonna ask you that. Well, this was 2000 and okay, GameCube I think came GameCube out. GameCube was out. They came out in the same year, actually. GameCube oh, came out did. in 2001. GBA came out June 11th, 2001. So actually, GameCube came out three months after the, the uh, GBA. But this game was out. I'm sure after that, right? This, yeah. this was not a launch title or anything. You found that game, cat. Okay, so balloon fight. Hey, let's let's pause while we do our analysis. Yeah, what is what's what's special about Balloon Fight? I like the physics. I, th I think it's, the physics are well designed for a game of that era. But it is sure. just a clone. It's, yeah, it's a copy of Joust. Yeah, which was already probably had its pretty had its solid physics. game. I mean, Joust. The, there weren't that many solid games back then. They were still figuring out how to make video games. Mario. And uh, uh, let's not talk about Mario. I mean, I don't even know what that game is. I never heard of it. Sure, skip it. Let's just talk about Joust for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yankee Kang. Um, yeah, Yankee. so Pac Pac Man Pro and Joust. Those are probably the two best games. Yeah, those are probably the two of the first like decent games that were that were well designed and and still playable. Like by today's standards, they'd be they'd still be considered pretty fun games. Like Pac Man is still fun. If you played, uh, what? You did it. All you had to do was press A, I think, on that one. I accidentally pressed A at the beginning. Yeah, I th yeah, you're right. All you do is press A. It must get harder than that. That's the thing. These games change. They get, they they change. They get harder. Yeah, yeah. The the mechanics change. Yeah, the mechanics do change. I forgot about that. If you loop the game, but in order to beat the the levels for the first time, you only have to beat the first loop. So the game has a lot of replayability. If you go back through for several loops, if you go back into the same character, it will let you loop it past the normal 15 levels or so that that you have to beat in order to just advance the story. Yeah, this game, oh, this game makes me, uh, like, fidget. It makes me squeal. Yeah, it, it really increases your adrenaline. Oh, oh no, because of you how failed it, at the Virtual Boy. It excites you so much. Yeah, why is there a Virtual Boy on this Game Boy? Why is it all red? Hit six. Oh, uh, this one's hard. I'm not very good at this. All you have to do is press A. Who's that? Luigi? <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. Because it was very clearly not. Yeah, but the timing, you know? And, like, these balls have their own physics. These baseballs. And they're different. They, their speeds are different. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Ma. Oh. I did it. Alright, well, good job. Cool. 
That's the end, right? Yeah, that's the end. Yep. All right. Oh, what a great game. Did we mention that yet? It's very colorful. That's a very good game. Yeah. Yeah, game design wise. For the for the story, I mean the the colors all over the place. It's all it's all 100% saturated. But for the story, it's fine. And the games all read pretty well. The games have to read well because you yeah. have to figure out what's going on in less than half a second. So the games a lot of the time what? will have a black background or they will have a lot more contrast. Yeah, that's so you'll something be able I never... to, You'll be able to, to tell what's going on. I never would have considered that until we started making our game. Yeah, I can't believe how much we learned making our little game. There's so many things that... I mean, I used to have... Re I was telling this to Ed yesterday, but you have so much... I used to have a lot of respect for game designers, because it's my favorite art form, and it was something I didn't know how to do, but that I really, really respected and enjoyed. And now I have even more respect after even just making one small game. The, the amount of problems that you have to solve. There's so many things that I never would have thought of that we had to solve. And many more that we gave up on and did not solve. Yeah. Oh, Remix. Why don't you do Remix, number sure. one? Look, we're almost halfway done the game. We're almost halfway done the episode. Mm -hmm. So this is a Remix. So they, I think the games are different, aren't they? Do the games... Yeah, they're way harder. Is this where the mechanics of the game start to change? I can't remember. But anyway, in the in the tower, at least I think I have this right. You know, yeah, once you get past a certain threshold, all the games have very slight variations that make them even harder. Look at that phone. Yeah, it's, it's like the phone I used to have. It's a flip phone. Oh. oh, fuck. Yeah, see? Instead of having a pinky, you have to pick your nose with an index finger. Right, it's right. much harder to pick your nose with an index finger. Believe me, I know. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, now it's two instead of one. Yeah, okay, so they get... If you've played Super Mario Brothers, you know how to do that, but if you haven't, you might try to do that with two separate jumps. Not gonna, not gonna cut it in the time limit. Oh no. That was the same. That you one would think that that ninja guy would be in the, the ninja level. There's a ninja level in this game. Hmm. Hit Mars. At least it tells you where it is. Just barely. So I guess the GameCube was already out at this point. Happy! <laughs> what if it's spelled CAC? CAC. Oh, we only have two to grab onto here. Oh yeah, I guess I'm assuming this might be completely blind <laughs> blind assumption that every game has three difficulties, right? Because in that Rob one, for example, you start with three yeah. and then yeah, maybe. it'll go down to one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh! You really have to figure out what's going on quickly. Jesus. Nice. Yeah, you have no time to... That's a runner! That's the first infinite... That's the first runner. Really? Oh. <laughs> you know, oh, Ed looks so angry right now. <laughs> he was really wanting to get this this uh, game mm. done. No, any, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. You know, any, any time... Um, any time you mess up a, a micro game in this game, you don't have the, you don't have the luxury of feeling bad about it. It really teaches you the, the, you know, to persevere and the value of persevering and picking up when you fall down and putting yeah. your shoes backwards on and putting socks over your shoes. Oh yeah, shoes. the red dots at the top, there's only two of them instead of three. <laughs> <laughs> I did that on purpose for the laugh. <laughs> Dodge. Oh my god, cack. Oh my cack. I'm eating my words early when I said the game was very easy. Well, the beginning of the game was easy, but... Oh, you gotta shoot him right in the heart. Okay. <laughs> you shot him right in the heart. Heh <laughs> gotcha. See, that's how you do it. You can't grab him on his head, it's too big. That one seems impossible. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't remember that one. She died right after that. We left the scene. See, so yeah, you have to put in three... In, uh, it's a three input yeah. attack there. You probably have to dodge three of them here. Oh, no, only go. two. Alright. So that's just faster. Hmm. His pants fell down. How dare you? That's basically just an IQ test. 
an IQ test? Yeah, test your reaction time. That's what IQ is, right? Yeah, you're right. I wonder if you can shoot in that one. I don't think you can. Hey, come on! That lady has no brain. <laughs> oh, that was close. Good thing that airbag comes out fast. There you go. You know, I will say... Oh! Oh! Wow, we were all captured. Me I... and both of my sons. Uh-oh. Don't mess up. It's just knockout. This will be easy. <laughs> Look at how happy he looks. I will say, okay, so when the Wii came out, remember how it was impossible to find for a long time? Yeah. I did finally pick one up some months later. Uh, whew, I did finally pick up one some months later, and I bought, along with that, a copy of WarioWare... Oh, what was it called? WarioWare Wii. It had a different name. It wasn't called WarioWare Wii, because that would be dumb. WiiWare. It was called WiiWare, that's right. What the fuck was it called, though? I played a lot of it, too. Uh, WarioWare... I was a security guard at the time when I played it in the guardhouse. On the Wii? Yeah. The... Really? Yeah, it was just stand up and play... Cause they're... Oh man, what a boring job. Wait, did they have a Wii there already? Um... How, how did you get that? You don't... No, the, one of the, uh... One of the other employees... Who was way too smart for the job, to be <laughs> honest. He, uh, he brought a Wii in. That's awesome. Like, that job was too, too easy. And too stupid. Well, who isn't too smart for that job? I mean... It's mindless, right? It's, it's a job that somebody on the planet has to do, but no. It kind of makes you go nuts, though. Yeah. Oh, IQ. Okay. So since IQ is reflexes, I should be really good at this. Wait, no, that's... Uh-oh. Look at this dumb head. Anyway, the point was, whatever that WarioWare... I think it was a launch title. It was a launch title for the Wii. 50 bucks. Right? Not that many games. Not that much fun. I thought it was awesome. I like that one where you had to build up the blocks, like the Jenga one. The blocks would like fall or something. Well, I think part of the reason I to like balance them. Yeah. So the Wii was, you know, the gimmick, the gimmick of gimmick consoles, the gimmick console of all gimmick consoles. And correct me if I'm wrong, that WarioWare game only used the motion sensor, right? Did it use the buttons with the D-pad? I don't think it did. I think it was just motion sensor. And if you remember, the Wii didn't have gr inspect. You have to find the one that's huh. wrong. Oh, the one that's right. I got it wrong. Wow, that's that's hard. Yeah, that's too difficult. Um, there are three. <laughs> <laughs> the Wii didn't get really really good motion controls in the, until the Wii Motion Plus. Remember, and that was a couple years into the game's the console's lifespan. Nice. That wasn't so hard. Oh, these you get you get longer to do. Yeah, because you have to read. Yeah. I mean, children have to be able to beat this game, too. And you have Match. to think. Top right, yeah. Yeah, this is actually extremely hard. Yeah, these are brain games. Before brain age. Which actually improves your IQ. Uh, yes. What? No, the exact opposite. It doesn't. You're right. It doesn't. Well, it, it, if IQ is reaction, right, and reflexes, maybe it does. I don't know. No, it doesn't. Oh. Brain games actually don't increase your IQ. It makes you better at the brain games, though. Yeah, but how useful a life skill is that? I'm really good at brain games. Yeah, not particularly. For the DS, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Some of these the, I just... The, the thing about warming up, like, some people do, like, for, um... Obviously, for exercise, it's, it's a good idea, but for, uh... For, like, drawing, I never found it to be that useful to do a warm-up. Like, I find that I have the most energy in the beginning of when I'm doing artwork. <laughs> this one just says, decide. <laughs> That's the direction. I like the one with his eye out of his head. Watch out. Oh, this oh. is not where you want to be, right? T there, there, there. Oh, oh my yeah, there. God. Good, good advice, Joe. Yeah. That was the other thing about this game series. The directions in every micro game, it's, it's one word. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, yeah, so it's like the most of the red ones, yeah. so you won. So yeah. it's like one word or two words, I guess. Like, search. Uh, you want to find... It's to the right. There he is. It doesn't look like the one in, in the picture. Oh, he's very cute. <laughs> Heavier? The left one. I'm just using my intuition here, man. Wait, that's not right? Wait, it was? Yeah, the left one was correct. Oh. Oh, this will be fun when it gets fast. There we go. 
Yeah, so I don't know. I didn't think that the Wii, the Wii version of this game was particularly good. I don't think it was worth 50 bucks. I'll say that. Outwit. I don't remember this yeah, one. Yeah, I don't remember this. Oh, I vaguely remember this. This is fun. This is Undertale. Hook punch or hiccups? Oh, that's kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? That hurt it a bit. Oh yeah, are you timed? <laughs> Define or defend? I don't think you're timed, actually. No, you are. What, you are? Yeah, it started blinking. The arrow started blinking and it made a sound. Oh. Went dee dee dee. Try using magic, what we use. Curse. Curse. I guess, yeah, I guess you die if the timer runs out. It's on the ropes! Time it and press A. <laughs> that's what it comes down to? We should make a game where that's the mechanic. An RPG where everything is just time-based. Oh yeah, I read your uh, notes for our new game that we're going to be starting on soon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty good stuff. I guess we shouldn't talk about specifics here. I don't know why I brought that up on the show. <laughs> we can. I mean, I don't think any of it's going to make it to the final game in uh, Unchanged. Shucks! Oh, but we were talking about... What was I talking about? I wanted to finish a thought because this game's, this game's so sporadic, it keeps on sending us off yeah, course. Yeah, I know. But, I can't keep... Oh, I was talking about doing warm-ups. Oh, right. Doing, uh, doing a warm-up for drawing. I feel like... Uh, if it's a if it's a task that takes a lot of brain power, doing a warm up to lead up to that task will use up mo a lot of your brain power, and then when you want to do the main task, you'll have less brain power to focus on the the main task. Like if you're coding something that you've never done before, that takes a lot of brain power. So if you if you do something else like a brain game, something else that takes a lot of brain power to warm up for that, then you're yeah. using up. Sorry, I find that yeah you 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 run out of you need breaks. Your brain needs breaks, just like your body needs breaks, if you do too much. Okay, we've got Ninjas or Crygore. I used to play the Ninja level over and over again. This yeah, is one of my favorite ones. Yeah. I thought I would leave this one to you. No, I, I I'm pretty didn't. good at it. I'll probably remember exactly what to do. It might be hard, though. I don't remember. Well, she's fat. <laughs> I like the skeleton. Yeah. It's like a skeleton boomerang character. Let's put him in our game. Yeah, we should have just made a, a WarriorWare style game. Although, we should have just made skeleton boomerang. Oh, yeah, that, that too. President! President! Princess Cack! Check out Skeleton Boomerang on Steam and also check out our episode about Skeleton Boomerang oh, here yeah. on this channel. Yeah. Hey, you see how, like, the, there's the black outline and then there's, like, some dots on the outside? There's some additional. There's, there's some extra color on the outside of some of the characters, especially on the close-ups. Oh, I didn't notice that. Do a close-up. It's kind of weird. It. Joe, do a close-up. I want to see it. Do it. Like, not here at all. Yeah, this, is just, this is just pixel art. Wait, is she hung over there? She's hanged? Yeah, or just she was tied? killed. <laughs> or just tied uh, with a rope. And this, this game deals with many deep issues. But does it? It might, and nobody would ever know. Yeah. Yeah, Bungayo for Dreamcast did that. <laughs> You would never know. Isn't that a game where the, the protagonist's father married an evil something or other? Yeah. And you have to fight... You have to fight her? You kill her or something? Got real messed up. Yeah, remember. the family from Bungai was dysfunctional. Let's just leave it at that. Not many people have played that game, so... We're probably not going to get too much uh, excitement for chat about Bungai. God, this game is so eccentric. This is just a photo. <laughs> it's just yeah. a photo of a... Greek! I gotta get a new chair, Joe. An ancient Greek building. Yeah, it's a little creaky. It's... yeah. It's pro there it is. See, you can see the, on the outside oh. of the outlines there. This chair's not even that old. What, a year, maybe? Two years? I gotta buy a better chair. What's this one again? Oh, our life bar is a katana sword. That's what they call them in Japan. Katana <laughs> Soldo. Japanese Soldo. Eat. This is the most Japanese level in this very Japanese game. It tried to trick me. You were not fooled. I like that the numbers <laughs> are old timey and in kanji. Yeah, no, that's one of the first things you learn if you study Japanese, really any language, you know, you learn how to say and write their numbers. But how often did you actually use those in Japan, you know? I don't know. I always just use regular numbers. Yeah, they don't really use them very often. Regular numbers. Yeah, you would use the them in, kanjis. like, maybe a formal setting? I don't know. 
I don't know. Jeez. Quit asking. Catch fruit. You just have to catch one. Back to Spy Jesus, Hunter. Jesus, yeah. I'm still trying to think of a game that gets stuck in my head. Yeah, for real, for real. Leave it in the comments. The game with the music that you get stuck in your head all the time. I will say that Pride More Keep from Shovel Knight is a track that I get stuck in my head willingly. Like, if I think of it, it'll be stuck in my head and I will be so happy. But there's, man, there's tons this of music. One's, this one's got uh, lyrics to it as well. Yeah. It you sounds know, pretty good for GBA. Yeah. It's I mean, very compressed. I mean, but... it sounds bad. Yeah, it sounds bad, of course, but for GBA, it sounds great. Everything about this game is very charming. They really managed to do a lot. Although I guess technically isn't isn't it as powerful ish as a SNES? Yeah, I think so. So like it might be even you know, it might be more powerful, I don't know. It probably is. Especially just by raw power, of course it is, right? It'd be silly to assume otherwise. <laughs> anyway. Someone in the comments recently Oh What's up? We got emails we should have been doing. Yeah. But I guess not during it's an LP. It's hard to do during this epi during yeah. WarioWare. You're right, you're right. Scare them. <laughs> Somebody in one of the comments recently said, When's the next analysis video? And I didn't have an answer for you. Nor do I still. I still do not have an answer. But. I think. I think soon is the answer. I've been writing a script. It's very short. Only, I guess, three pages? Which for me is, like, impossibly short. You ever meet someone that just writes and writes and writes and writes and everything they write is way too much? Or they talk and talk and talk and everything they say is just overspoken and oversaid? Hey, it's Mount Fuji. So I'll send it over to Joe. He's going to pare it down a little bit. It's about a little game called CrossCode. You ever heard of that game? No. Well, I think didn't. I'll check out an episode of Game Soup, though. I recently saw that Game Soup released an episode about CrossCode, so I'm going to check that oh, out. Is that is that so? That's that's true. Game Soup just recently covered uh, CrossCode. Yeah, I saw it on Steemit. We have a Steemit page. You can check us out on Steemit. Mm -hmm. It's spelled S-T-E-E. -E. It has two E's, so that they don't... Uh... Right. They shouldn't have called it Steam. Steam no. is the biggest gaming platform on PC. They should have called it anything but Steam, but they didn't. Anyway, yeah, it's at GameSoup on Steam. It. So I'm hoping to have a new video out. Fairly, look at that. Look at those graphics. <sighs> Such strength. Ah, oh, creaky, creaky, creaky! Um, yeah, in the near future. Hopefully sooner rather than later, but... Yeah, we've been working on finishing our game. Yeah, I was just thinking about... I was trying to think about how to say this. Uh, I need to make the trailer for our game. And while it hopefully won't take super long, it does have to be done first. Yeah. Because the game has to get out. Yeah, we've been trying to get this game done. It's taking a lot longer than we thought, and we did bite off more than we could chew at this point. But even still... But we're, we've been closing in on, at the, on the end of it for so long. I feel like the time you spend in your second, like your second attempt versus your first attempt is exponentially faster. Yeah, like, the, the end of any project though, every project I've ever been involved in, which is yeah. a lot, the end of it always takes longer than you think. Yeah. Something that you think will take two days takes a week. At least for me, it's because there's the cleanup phase, which involves removing all the, the rough edges that you just said, oh, I'll get to it later. Yeah, we've got a bunch of garbage code. Yeah, we sure still do. Still left and assets that we gotta get rid of and things that we don't own and need to get rid of. <laughs> Some assets that we do not have legal rights to use. Oh, really? Such as an image of Donkey Kong? Although that, I don't know. Probably get away with that one. But, do you uh, want to battle Dr. Krygor? Oh, yeah, sure. He's my favorite doctor. 